In the TV show Severance, employees undergo a controversial procedure that splits their consciousness into two. But how realistic is this premise? The Severance procedure is accomplished by surgically implanting a microchip directly into people's brains. This chip supposedly blocks access to personal memories while at work and vice versa. What's left is a fragmented identity, two separate versions of the same person. Now this concept raises fascinating questions about memory storage, brain compartmentalization, and personal agency. Historically, lobotomies were the first attempts at altering behavior through brain surgery. Popularized by Egas Moniz in the 1930s, this procedure severed connections in the brain's frontal lobes to treat psychiatric conditions. While initially celebrated, the consequences of this procedure were severe. Cognitive impairment, loss of personality, and even death in some cases. In many ways, Severance recalls the invasive nature and ethical concerns of this historical practice. Today's neural implants are far more advanced. Deep brain stimulation, for example, involves implanting tiny electrodes into the brain to regulate abnormal brain signals. This is used to treat Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, and depression. Now, unlike the fictional severance implant, deep brain stimulation doesn't alter anyone's identity. Instead, it fine-tunes existing brain functions.